So you've just switched from film to digital and bought yourself a brand new DSLR. You still don't have autofocus lenses, but you've got a bunch of manual focus glass that you wonder how to attach it to your brand new camera. Well, here is how. It's Constant here, and welcome to the Grey Source Mint channel. So first things first, most of the manual focus Nikon lenses don't have electronic chip to tell the camera what lens this is. So when I attach this lens to the camera, unfortunately the camera doesn't know what lens is attached to it. So first thing we need to do is actually to give this information into the camera. So in this case, I need to tell the camera that this is a 35 millimeter lens and the widest aperture is f1.4. I do it through the setup menu of the camera in a non-CPU lens data setting. So first, press menu on the back of the camera to go into the menu system and highlight the spanner icon on the left to go into the setup menu of the camera. There, uh, find non-CPU lens data setting and press OK to go inside it. In there, you can create up to nine profiles for all manual focus lenses that you already have and I would recommend to start with the widest focal distance and go to the longest one. That way, it will be a lot easier and more logical to switch between different profiles. In my case, I will set up three profiles for three lenses that I have here, and it will be 35mm 1.4 lens, 50mm 1.8 lens, and also 85mm 1.4 lens. Let's start with the 35mm 1.4. So lens number one, uh, let's choose focal distance. In this case, it's 35mm. Here we are. And maximum aperture, 1.4. Press OK to confirm that um, setting we've done with a number one lens. So let's create a profile two now. And that in my case will be 50 millimeter, 1.8. So we'll choose 50 millimeter and 1.8 aperture. Press OK to confirm again, and let's move on to profile three. Profile three, 85 millimeter. Let's scroll up to 85. Here we are. And the maximum aperture, in our case, it's 1.4. And that's it, job's done. All you have to do now is to go into the same setting and choose the correct profile for the lens you use. But you can also take it to the next level. For quick access, you can also create a shortcut um, of the lens non-CPU lens data setting and add it to my menu section of menu system of the camera. In order to do this, we need to press menu on the back of the camera. In menu system, highlight the bottom left icon, which is called my menu, and then there, choose add items. In this setting, we need to choose the menu from which we want to add the shortcut from. In our case, it's a setup menu. And then there, we need to find non-CPU lens data setting. Click OK on that to confirm and press OK again to add it to my menu. So now we have the setting in my menu, which is easily accessible uh, and it's much easier to find this menu than scrolling through the whole list of settings in the setup menu of the camera. But the best thing you can do is to assign this setting to one of the function buttons of the camera or depth of field preview button. That will allow you to change the profiles of the lenses that you use on the fly without going into the menu settings of the camera. To do this, press menu on the back of the camera and highlight um, pencil icon on the left to choose custom settings menu. There, highlight F for Freddy controls and then there choose F1 function, which is called custom control assignment. In there, choose either Depth of Field Preview button or Function 1 button, click OK on that, and find Choose Non-CPU Lens Number setting in there. Once you found it, press OK to confirm. So now, when shooting, press Function button to see what lens you use, so 35 1.4, and if you want to change it to a different lens, just use the back wheel on the back of the camera to change the profile. Few things to be aware of. Once the lens is attached to the camera, you only will have access to manual mode or aperture priority modes only. Shot speed priority, P mode or any other automatic mode won't be available. Uh, in terms of metering system, you will get access to center weighted metering and spot metering only. So keep this in mind. Please note that uh, non-CPU lens data setting is only available in semi-professional and professional Nikon lineup. So something like D3000 series cameras or D5000 series cameras won't be supported. Also, for some reason, D7500 doesn't have that feature. And the last bit, if you've got some old cameras like Nikon D200, while it has the non-CPU lens data feature, it won't allow you to create several profiles. So unfortunately, you'll have to change the focal distance and aperture of the lens every time you attach a new lens to the camera. 
And that's it, folks. If you found this video useful, thumbs up. If you didn't, well, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe so you receive notifications for our future videos. Thank you.